What is the etiquette when a pro angler encroaches on another angler who was there first and then hole sits a spot? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family, and thank you. Really thank you. You guys humble me with the amount of views and the subscriptions in the last couple months, so I really do appreciate it. But click the subscribe button and become part of the team. So some background beforehand. We're going to watch a little bit of a video from Matt Becker on Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour Stage 6 on the James River. If you don't know, Matt Becker was the Angler of the Year in 2023. The current points leader is Jacob Wheeler as of the making of this video. Now, Becker was at this spot first, but Jacob makes a claim that he had been there days before. Next, when Jacob Wheeler got to the spot, he got water, he didn't need to fish. He was in first place by a mile, and he had obviously was going to make the cut. Matt Becker, on the other hand, was in 12th place and was trying to find fish to get himself into that cut to make the top 20. And you'll notice that as Jacob drives in on his boat, he puts down his power pole, he just meanders to the front of the boat, and he isn't fishing because he doesn't need fish at this time. He was going to win by 20 or 30 pounds probably. But Jacob wanted this spot in front of this tree. And for me, I looked at this as Jacob hole sitting and playing some defense for his next round of fishing. And when there's so much money involved in sport fishing and competition, anglers will do and say some things that are inappropriate. But I do believe that Matt Backer should have been allowed to fish that bank or that edge because Jacob didn't need the fish again. He just didn't need it. But he wanted to block Matt from going down that area. And instead of going through him, Matt Backer did the right thing and went around him. You'd lose your mind if someone did that to you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Are you, you, you were sitting here the other day. That's fine. You saw me where I was sitting at the other day. You saw where I was sitting at. I saw you see me. What does that mean? That doesn't mean anything. I've been here all week. You're good. You're good. You don't even need to fish. What's that? You don't even need to catch one. That's fine. I don't need you to be on yourself and out fishing either. So you own the whole river? No, I own it. Listen, I was sitting right here, bro. You want to see my waypoint? You want to see my waypoint of that tree? No, you're good. I'm out of here anyway. But Matt Becker was there first. Jacob was not in the picture during the time that he strolled in on him. And I agree that there has to be, you can play some defense. I do agree with that. And I'm not, I don't think Jacob is uh, 100% at fault here. I think he's probably 95% at fault. But I think there has to be some sort of professional, professional etiquette to the anglers and your fellow competitors. Because if it were the other way around, the shit would have hit the ceiling. And while Matt didn't really give it to Jacob, Jacob too harshly, he handled the situation as well as anyone could, probably better than most people. And this is two competitors going at each other and wanting to win and go to the next round. This isn't like Zaldane yelling at the, the local angler and pulling the Seinfeld episode bit out. You know what you ought to do? You should go to her office and heckle her. <laughs> and, and no shade, Chris didn't never apologize. We say, how would you like it if I came to where you work and heckled you? It does, because on my off day, I'm going to come over to your workplace and disrupt your paycheck. I think this instance with Becker and Wheeler is a lot of common courtesy or professional courtesy, whereas I think the Zaldane thing was just flat out wrong. I do think this is wrong too. I think Jacob should allow that angler or allow Matt to go through and down that bank because they do know where they stand in Major League Fishing. In Bass, they don't know where they stand, and I still don't think it's right to just do that. I think you need to be professional, you need to be courteous, and you have to be, there's some common sense behind it too. But 
I'm not sure Jacob was just not trying to make sure that those fish that were on that spot weren't being going to be blown up by Becker. But I do believe Becker had the opportunity to do it and should have done it. But what do you think? Was Matt wrong? Should Matt have escalated the situation even more? Did Wheeler come in on him and hold it? That's what I want to know. Comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Hopefully you don't hear the television next door because the kid is really going crazy. Take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I'll talk to you very, very soon. Cheers.